Hello and welcome back. I'm Dr. Klumber. I've changed the layout of my poker thingy. I will just have to double click that so it actually shows. It's a bit annoying because I started recording another one uh, thinking I would be fine for time and it turned out I miscalculated. So I've got another game going on another table and I really don't like multi-tabling. Uh, you probably see me frantically trying to rearrange my windows. I lost. Excellent. That's what I wanted. I don't even know what I played there, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to check it anyway. Yeah, that's fine. I knew I would lose that. So that's good. You have now got my undivided attention, which is sort of what I expected, which is why I started over this game. I can't call here. There's way too much connectivity and uh, the wrong colors on the board. So that is tough. So what we're playing is another 440. Uh, I really like this tournament. I really like the style of it. It's a time tournament. Uh, 15 minutes this time. Yesterday I played 25 minutes. This morning I recorded the 330 bubble, which was an interesting game. And I recommend you watch that. This guy is sitting on gold with his ace and he still loses. Oh, that's harsh. Um, yeah, the 330 was really good fun. So, and I do, I have a bit more time to explain hands and stuff that it's slightly slower than this format. So, if you liked the uh, 440 video from yesterday, I recommend you go and have a look at that as well. Ace 2 here, we're just going to limp. We're just going to limp, which is not a play I like, but if someone limps in front of you, it's not necessarily the worst play. So, we will see what that leads to. Leads to nothing. <laughs> well, that's a pot grab if ever I've seen one. But am I calling with ace two? No, I can't afford to. He's dominating me. I am going to remember that, Atomia, and I will get you back for that one. Now, this is really weird. Why is this? Earlier it was on 12 and now it's back on 7. I really don't understand what's going on. I find this so frustrating because I just don't understand what it is. Complete 10 more steps. It always says complete 10 more steps. Doesn't it? I think it does. Or have I just completed the step? It is so confusing. I just don't know how it works. It doesn't actually matter to me at all. I don't care about any of that nonsense. And I think what Pokestars did was actually make everybody not care about it. Except for maybe the pros. Um, but yeah, I'm not a pro. I don't care. So we've got an all-in against my 200. That means that everybody's going to see my wonderful Jack 5. Unless someone's... No, actually, it doesn't have to happen, but it will. Yeah, we're going to check this. Uh, that's good. Queen Ace isn't brilliant. And he went all in with nothing. I might put a bit of a spanner in the works for the other guy. The side pot's only 60, so he should be worried here. Yeah. Yeah. And there we go. We've taken it down with my wonderful... No, have we? Yeah, we have. With my wonderful Jack... Yeah, everybody got to see my Jack 5, and I was quite happy about the Jack 5 being real. So I'm targeting this Artemia. <laughs> I don't really care that he's got three times my stack, two and a half times my stack. He's Russian, he's um, an aggressive so and so. And yeah, I've got to try and get some chips back from him because I don't like, as the neighbor next to me is called, to be hook winged. Uh, not enough connectivity now that seven doesn't actually mean anything without the uh, five or nine that's a fold does he know that he's called hookwinking as in hoodwinking or is because he's from Taiwan that could actually be his name hookwinking hookwinking that's really funny I don't think he even knows that he's... Uh, he might do, I don't know. I don't know. It reminds me of those Chinese t-shirts with random words on it. I absolutely love that. Uh, I saw one in uh, when I was in China that said, Three strong me. Three strong me. I 
I'm still not sure what that meant. It rhymed. That's always a bonus. So, empties and blinds are going up. We're already getting to the more expensive part of the game because I am now at eight uh, blinds. So I need to think about how I'm going to get out of this. Am I at eight? I might even be at less than that. I am, I'm at seven blinds. Um, Artemia, Tango boy, Tango. He's probably gonna take me out here. Uh, but you never know, he might actually be impressed with my show of strength. He is! Yay! That means we go back to having uh, almost 10 big blinds, which is reasonable in this format. Um, I don't really want to play with Jack 2. That more can British as sort of expected. Bank 58 is definitely Canadian with a hockey player. And we've got LeBron James here with Tomixo, and he's from Hungary. Massive basketball fan I am. Um, but I wouldn't put LeBron on my logo. I have better players than that to put on my logo, like my superstar favorite at the moment, Paul George, PG-13 of the Indiana Pacers. But instead, I represent the Dutch. Oh, I would have had a nice hand here. Ah, well, that happens. I have another nice hand. I might have to open this. Um, yeah. Um, no. <laughs> it's funny how this game works, isn't it? I love the fact that you can sort of read what people are doing and why, and then sometimes you have a plan and it just... That more can comes along and doubles up, uh, nearly doubles up, just before he has to pay the blinds. So actually that was a good play by him, stealing it there. Well, under the gun, is that stealing? Very brave stealing. Hoodwink King has decided these blinds are his now. And he's immediately been thrown off the table for unsportsmanlike conduct. That's how we like to see it. I have got a bit of an issue because we've got about five minutes remaining, a bit more. So yeah, I do need to hustle at some point. Nobody's going to be stealing my blinds here, that more can. That more can. I know you're thinking about it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You haven't got a hand. I know you haven't got a hand. Shit. I've got even less of a hand. Now here is a hand. Why did I not get that under in the previous play? I shouldn't be worried though because someone's going to try it again. Oh. This devalues my force a lot. I can't afford to, fall, uh, to call again. And the king holds, so yeah. Oh, actually the diamonds hold. So we lose LeBron James to our favorite Russian Intimidator. Now this is definitely a hand that I'm going to shove at this point because I do need to double up. And I like the connectivity, I like the uh, diamonds, I like the fact that it's a pretty high hand overall. He might have an ace, which is a risk I have to take, but I will take it. And he's got the king. Ten. Yes, thank you. Excellent play. Excellent. That was really good. So I made straight there in case it went a bit too quick because I've been immediately moved to another table. We'll talk through that hand real quick. Um, yeah, I had queen, queen jack. He had king six of spades. So a bit of a cheeky shove by him, to be honest. Um, 9, 7, 8, all I had at that point was either get a 10 or a queen or a jack. He had 6, 7, 8, 9. The 10 fell, that connected my jack and king to the 10, 9, 8. So that gave me the straight and that's how I won that hand. Pretty good. Another hand we can definitely play with. Queen 10 in this position is pretty strong. If nobody does anything, I will open raise here. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we, this is where we need to be really slow. And Tamar is Dutch as well, and I don't like that you're doing this to me, Tamar. He's calling, I'm calling as well, I'm following the limp. Not great play, um, again, but at this point it pays to be a bit more conservative, which is probably why we're doing this. We get a very big pot here because people call, not very big, but big enough. And I like my queen connecting um, 
so I might have a jack connecting, they would have betted at this point, they would have bet if they had king ace, they would have shoved if they had a big pair bigger than mine. So I'm going to go all in and make sure that nobody connects with the clubs, because that's my fear at the moment. He might have clubs and therefore have called. I don't think he would have done that though. He might have a queen as well, so then my 10 has to be strong enough. And it is, he's got a queen 9. And we hold and we take another double up. That's very good. And I actually read that very well. If I hope you uh, saw that. I said he might have a queen and he did have a queen. I was quite lucky, I suppose. But yeah, no, I thought I really did think I had the strongest hand there. And it, I got paid for it, so that's always good. Conrado probably thought he had the strongest hand, but his eight was not good enough. So now we're up to fourth, which is excellent. We've got a few more minutes and move table again, which is now getting a bit silly. Um, but yeah, fourth would be a decent payout at this moment in time. So we'll see. We'll keep on playing. I'm not sort of the type who stops playing and delays and this, that sort of stuff. I like my stack. I need to make it work. The problem is they put me right next to the largest stack. Yeah, Dico Fov. Dico 5 whatever his name is. Um, but actually he's on my right, he's not on my left. I've got lots of small stacks on my left. So a bit of aggressive play is in order here. Dico Fov is playing Rob Brad 78 from the UK. Rob Brad. Rob Bradley, maybe. I don't know, Robert Brad. 5-6, um, not quite there. Not in this position, not with Dicko for Dick, Dick, whatever the guy is called, uh, opening, even if it is a limp. I could have limped in with him and got into some tricky spots like hit the 5, hit the 6. What do you do then? Do you actually anticipate a bigger pair being in play? Do you, you know, so no, I don't like that in this position. I always have to act uh, second here as well, which isn't great. Nitike goes all in. And I think everybody's going to fold because we are running down the clock. Although Dika Foss might actually fancy this. He does fancy it. He did, he was trying it on here and he got a bite. So well played. I expect he's got a... No! Wow! Really? He played a 7-9? That was, that was rash. That was not good play there. I don't care whether you're the biggest stack or not. You can go fishing all you like. That was stupid. What did he think? You know, any overpair at that point, jacks, kings, queens, aces, like he had, <coughs> all of them would have called there and he would have been beat all the time. So that was just a very poor play by him. I can't do a lot here. Heidi35, why do I know that name? Did I just play that earlier? I might have done. I can't remember really. Um, is it worth stealing this pot? No, really isn't. Heidi's got some things. She's thinking too long to not do anything. Yeah, there you go. I'm pleased that I resist the temptation to try and steal there. That would have cost me because I think she would probably would have called as well. Ace-8 is a nice hand though. Uh, we've got a limper uh, and he's only got 12-80 so I'm going to try and isolate him if nobody else goes in here so that means going in with uh, something like two and a half three thousand so that's a call at this point then um, call it yeah I'm not going to raise it I hit some uh, wheel drawers but not a lot so I'm going to check it he's going to put those chips in no he's not he's just gonna play real slow Real slow, my 151 will translate into $20 cents. Silly play there. I'm going to check again. I don't want to lose uh, another 3000. My hand's not good enough here. I hope another diamond falls. That would be great because then we uh, go up to 18, 19,000. And we don't get another diamond. My ace is probably not the strongest here. So that's a shame, really. No! <laughs> the 
that's a shame. That's a shame. I won it anyway. So that's good. Uh, I don't know where I've ended. Uh, I think we jumped up quite a bit. Yeah, we got to fourth. So that's even better than the 440 yesterday. That's really nice. So what will be the pay? Total price pool 736. I think we might be looking at $40 here. So that's really good. Really pleased with that. And another result. I've been on a bit of a heater today uh, and yesterday. So what did we get? Oh, only 25.79 because it was fewer players. Still, I really can't complain about that. I thought that was a lovely game. I had a lot of fun. Uh, as usual, I got a bit lucky. But if you're not F lucky every now and then in poker, you go home. And yeah, that's excellent stuff. My bankroll really likes that. Thank you. And um, yeah. Just another one to upload. I'm really on a heater. I might have to carry on playing even though I've got some more jobs to do. Um, so who knows, there might be even more fun and joy out of my PokerStars Let's Play, which is going to be a very continuous series because I play poker quite frequently. I am Dr. Klumber. I hope you liked it. I've put my uh, Twitter address down here. Down here. So you can follow me on Twitter. I don't. Have, it's my secondary address. I don't have a lot of followers on there. So if you interact with me there, you're bound to get a, a reply. If you leave comments on my videos, I really like that as well. I will reply to that. I have said very cheekily, I, re, I will reply until I get 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subs. There we go. I should have checked that before. Um, but yeah, just... Good fun. Um, I'm happy to interact. I'm happy to respond. I'm happy to help you get better. I'm happy to receive feedback so I get better. And in the end, we will all get better. And that's what I want this channel to do. Thank you very much. Dr. Klumber out.